Welcome to Puzzle with Emilia, that's me and on today's video we are gonna go through all these 10 amazing puzzles you can see around me and we're gonna figure out how the heck did I get them only for 24 euros. So let's start this by rewinding the tape and taking a look on my shopping trip. So this is me and my excited husband on our way to the puzzle shopping trip. Um, at least he's trying to look like he's excited, so he's trying his best. This is our goofy faces and now we are on our way to the reuse center. If you wonder exactly what is a reuse center, well, let me tell you, it's one of those wonderful things we have in Finland, the happiest country in the world. So reuse center here in the metropolitan area is owned by the cities and they take donations, all kind of stuff from uh, kitchenware, furniture, books, electronics, anything you can think of. And they actually donate most of that stuff for free for those who actually need them. And the rest of the stuff, like the puzzles, they just sell for a very cheap price. I like to go to the Rio Center in Finna, which is because they have the best puzzle selection. They have at least always like three big shelves just full of different puzzles. Every time I go there, they have different selections. So people really buy those a lot and also donate them. And usually, uh, like this time we went, we also donated some stuff from our house that we don't need anymore. They also have free section where they also have puzzles. I don't take the free puzzles because I want to save them for people who have more important things to put their money on, but still wants to buy puzzles or get puzzles for their children or for themselves. So everybody can puzzle. So I came back with all these 10 amazing puzzles and they cost only 24 euros. And to be honest, I'm also a member, so I do get a 10% discount, which is kind of crazy because they're like two euro per each. So I got also 10% discount. So my total price was 21 and 60 cents. So let's start going through the puzzles. Um, I already did a couple of them, but I want to go through all of them and most of them I'm gonna take a, just a further look for the first time. So for example, this puzzle was only one euro. One euro puzzle. And as you can see, most of the puzzles are quite um, old, obviously because they're used, so usually they are older. They also have newer puzzles and as I said, very wide selections of 500, kids puzzles, 1000, 3000, um, the mystery puzzles. I also had one like impossible puzzle I bought from there earlier. And so far they have always been very good quality. No missing pieces or stickiness or anything like that. I'm gonna just throw this away. Sand. So for example, this horse puzzle, you can see all the puzzle pieces seem to be here. Nothing special or worrying going on here. I'm very excited for this. I like to do the older puzzles because they're a little bit harder and I'm usually terrible with the grass and the animals and stuff. Very excited for this. I think I'm actually gonna still do this today. And then we have an other animal puzzle here, wild animal puzzle. This is an old one. I don't know what is the, the brand. I actually have an other one that also look like this because I recognize this warning mark here. This was three euros. I'm not exactly sure like what is the logic that for example, this is one euro, this is three euros. The max price I have seen for these puzzles is four euros, I think. This is a puzzle that I already did. Um, it was two euros. It was very high quality. It was a very interesting puzzle to me because it, it says that it's the Notre Dame. So it's kind of like the scenery puzzle, but then it almost have like this um, cartoonish characters and a little bit like an illustration vibe on it. And also a new brand for me, if this is an actual 
brand, I'm not 100% sure. Then I got this uh, tiger puzzle and this is actually my first uh, bigger puzzle that is round shape. I had this video before how to practice for the World Yixa puzzle championships and somebody actually commented there um, that the puzzle even could be actually a round because Ravensburger has come up more with this round puzzle. So I think this is like a perfect practice for that. And I actually have quite a lot of tiger puzzles, I have to say, yes. And this was uh, 3 euros. It's a brand called Masterline, never heard about it, probably some old one. I cannot find a year from here, no. Because I'm always excited what year are these like made. Actually, let's take a look at the one of the older ones. Maybe this one has a year. No? What about the first one I took? Oh, very interesting. Okay, for example... Oh, come on. If this doesn't have a year either, I'm gonna... <laughs> cry myself a river. Nope. We do not have a year here. I am officially confused. So as you can see, I bought this time mainly 500 piece puzzles. That's simply because um, I don't have any 500 piece puzzles right now. And this beauty was uh, 2 euros. Um, it's actually a painting. And I was doing one painting uh, puzzle before. If you follow me on Instagram, you may have seen it there. And it didn't go that well, so I thought that that's a good choice for me to do a little bit more of those. And I actually had very, obviously, same brand, same team, both the dog paintings. And once again, we can see here that this is 2 euros and this is 3 euros. And let's take a look inside just to see if we can actually find what is the difference and once again with the tape most likely I'm gonna rip off the image god damn it why this is so hard this is too hard for me okay this is how this is so hard and now I'm confused ah oh, it also had Tape on the side that I did not see. Let's try to push it to the limit. Push it to the limit. Okay, this is getting ridiculous. Oh my god. Hey, this opening is not going too well, so... Oh my god, really? Now I'm taking the picture, ripping the picture again. Okay. Okay, so... You can see, I mean, it's old puzzle. The box is a little bit broken, but the pieces look fine. I don't see any problem here. And then if we take a holy Pokemon, if we take a look at this other puzzle that was actually open. Okay. Well this was two years, this was three years, maybe they are charging for the tape. And you can see here as well exactly the same kind of pieces, same condition. They're charging for tape one euro. But I'm very excited for this because I like dogs. I'm not very good at dogs. I'm not good at painting. So I think this is a really good practice as well. Then let's move on a little bit for more known brands, if I would say, and maybe a little bit like a newer bottles that they had. So here we have one of my favorite brands, which is the Clementoni. 500 piece puzzle. I only have one 
500 piece puzzle from Clem and Tony in my puzzle collection, which is like, I don't know, 120 puzzles. So I'm very excited uh, for this one. I think Clem and Tony puzzles in general are a little bit harder than, for example, the Ravensburger. So I'm very excited for this. Plus, anybody who knows me knows I love palm trees. Palm trees are my favorite. Obviously, there's no palm trees in Finland, but at least I can puzzle them. And then we had this other Clementoni 500, um, uh, kind of like a ship. You can see once again, a little bit gradient, but a lot of like a similar colors. So it's going to make it a little bit harder. And two euros, three euros. I don't know why. Let's take a look. This one was open. This was two euros. You can see the puzzle pieces are quite nice, no problem here. This one, um, this one is taped. Let's take a look if I can do this again. I think I should do like if you video how to open the puzzle box when it's taped without ripping off the whole picture. But that would be a terrible tutorial because I don't know how to do it. Okay. Didn't they at least like put a little bit less? Yep. I ripped it off again. Woohoo! Okay, one more. We can do this. I can do this. Do, do, do. This is starting to sound like my mini puzzle challenge video where I was like, no, no. No, yes, 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 I can do this. No, yeah, maybe. Woohoo! Okay, we got it. <clears throat> Almost got in. Okay, so let's take a look. Okay, they had pink paper. Another pink paper, another pink paper, and a red paper um the puzzle pieces look they're fine so this is the one that was three euros and the palm tree one is the one that it's like two euros so i feel like i'm repeating myself a little bit but they're charging for the tape one euro or maybe in this one it was that they were charging for those three purple papers and one red one so yeah we have two more to go. Bam, bam, jump, ba -dum, ba -dum. Okay. So then we have actually one thousand piece puzzle uh, from Tactic, which is my favorite Finnish brand. They do puzzle support games. I took the one with the fruits because I did very similar thousand piece puzzle earlier from another brand and I thought I could like speed puzzle it in two and a half hours. Well, obviously that didn't go too well, that plan. So I thought that's something I also need to practice and I like fruits and colors. So why not? I also have a smaller similar puzzle from Tactic which had like berries on it. And it also looked kind of, kind of like easy, but it's like the those 500 piece puzzle that taken me the longest time ever. I actually done it multiple times. I got so frustrated, so I gave it away. But let's try this one. Maybe I'll have a little bit better luck. And here you can see that the pieces are actually in a bag. Actually, this is pretty interesting because I think this is the original bag. This looks like the original puzzle bag. Oh, now I gotta find out like, oh, this is smart. I think it's tied up with the, with the, now I have to say pompula, but that's finished. I don't know, what, what what is it? Like, what do you call the thing that you put your ponytail on? I don't know. But this is actually quite smart because I actually, I, I usually, I mean, I mean, Wow, but I mean, I do speed puzzling, so I just rip it open from the middle. But now I'm thinking about this. This is actually quite smart. 
Oh, and they also have a catalog. I have this puzzle from them, and this one, and this one, and, and that's it. Catalogs, anyone? And these were from the. So this was from the catalog of uh, 2020, so quite a new one. And then there is this puzzle I already made, which was, I was so excited because, I mean, th this looks like very new Ravensburger puzzle. And this was like the best of the best. I mean, it has slots and everything and butterflies and colors and all the amazing stuff. It's called actually a slot selfie. I'm not sure how this is a selfie, but okay. And this is from your, I'm pretty sure this is quite new. Do they put a year here? 2018. Is that the year that they made this? Maybe, maybe. So this is also the one I did. I also did this one earlier. Probably going to finish one of these before I'm going to publish this video. So I'm going to add it on the edit. Add it on the edit. Uh, but anyway, my point is this all was literally just a little bit over 20 euros. Puzzles are just so much fun. And at least in Finland, I feel like the market is a little bit small, especially if you don't order online, but buy from actual stores. So it's like always there is the same puzzles. So when you actually go to the Rio Center, then you will also get puzzles not only for cheap, but you will get a little bit different puzzles that you wouldn't find elsewhere. So remember to subscribe to this channel, check out my previous videos, there's so many funny challenges and tips for the puzzling. And also stay tuned for the next videos, I can tell you there is some good stuff coming about, for example, the hardest mini puzzle I've ever done and all other cool stuff I'm so excited about. See you next time! <laughs>